Okay, so today we're going to be talking about basic distance problems, and then we're going to be doing simple interest problems also. So first we're going to start with the basic distance problems. Distance is equal to rate times time. And um, the way that it's usually abbrevi abbreviated is just D equals RT. So for example one, Joe drove 45 miles per hour for three hours. So you have to figure out what did they give you. They gave you 45 miles per hour. So when it's something per something else, when you see the word per, that's a hint that this is a rate right here. Okay? And then three hours, what is that? That's time. So D equals... RT. So in this case, they gave you the rate and the time. So we just have to, and the distance is what we're trying to find. So we just plug it in. And so um, the rate was 45 miles per hour. The time was three. And so the distance that Joe drove would have been 135 miles. Forty-five times three is 135. Yeah. Okay. Any questions on that? So those are the easiest ones to do. When they give you the rate and the time, you're just multiplying them. But sometimes they're going to give you different information. Like example two. Now they told me she drove 330 miles in six hours. So they gave me 330 miles. What does that represent? The distance. That's D. And six hours is the time. So I know D equals RT, so I'm going to plug in what I know. The distance was 330. The rate is what I don't know, so I'll leave it as R times 6. So if you divide both sides by 6, And I get that the rate, yes, is 55 miles per hour. Okay. All right. So now example three, we're still going to use D equals RT. It says Felicia drove 210 miles at an average rate of 60 miles per hour. So they even tell you that's the rate. So this time I gave you which two letters? D and R. Okay, I want you guys to plug that into D equals RT and figure out how long she was driving, the time. So go ahead and work that yourselves on your paper. Don't freak out if it's a decimal. All right, so when you plugged it in, you should have plugged in 210 for the distance and 60 for the rate. So you get 210 equals 60 times T. And the opposite of multiplication is division, so we divide out the 60. You can go ahead and cross out the zeros if that makes your division easier for you. And um, you end up getting that the time was 3.5 hours. Okay? If you divide 6 into 21, you should get 3.5. Okay. Any questions on that? All right. Let's take a look at number 4. Bobby drove for an hour and 30 minutes. Okay. One hour and 30 minutes. Okay, I, I need to just make it into straight hours. So how could I represent 30 minutes as a decimal? 1.5, right. So for that one, our time is going to equal 1.5. And then they gave us 60 miles per hour. Is that the distance or the rate? 60 miles per hour is the rate. Okay, so R equals 60. All right, so figure out how far you went.
Okay, so yes, if you plugged it in, distance equals rate times time, so 60 times 1.5. Okay, that's 60 times 1 and a half. That's one you guys can do in your head. That means I've got 160 plus half of 60. What's half of 60? 30. What's 60 plus 30? 90. Oh, wait, that's my Okay, or if you can't, you know, if you can't do it that way, you can always just write down the multiplication problem and do it that way too. Okay? All right, so let's move on to the other side and talk about simple interest. All right, so simple interest, I equals PRT. I is the simple interest, P is the principal, which is the amount that you either invested or that you borrowed from the bank. The rate, you have to, it's going to be given to you as a percent, but you have to remember to convert the percent to a decimal. So if, for instance, if the rate is, um, say, 5%, to make that into a decimal, what do we do? Right, we have to move it over two times, so 0 0.05, okay? Um, and then T is the time in years. So if they give you a problem with six months, how much of a year is that? Half. So you would use 0.5 in that case. Okay. All right. So you deposit into a savings account, 450 into a savings account, with an annual interest rate of 6%. After two years, how much interest have you earned? So it's a good idea to go through and highlight or mark the information that they gave you. So I deposited 450. My rate is 6%. After two years, how much interest? Okay. So, depositing 450, is that I, P, R, or T? It's the money you put in the bank, isn't it? So, it's the P, it's the principal. Okay. Um, the rate of 6%, that's pretty easy. That's R. And if I'm going to make it a decimal, what is it? 0 0.06, okay. After two years, two years is my time, yes. And how much interest? That's the capital I that I'm trying to find. So I equals PRT. So the principal we said was 450. The rate was 0 0.06. And the time was 2. Okay. Now, multiplication is commutative. What that means is it doesn't matter what order we do it in. I could do 450 times 0 0.06 and then double it. I could do 0 0.06 times 2 and then times 450. Or I can just multiply 2 times 450 because that's really easy for me to do in my head. That's 900. So I'm going to do, ni now I've got 900 times 0 0.06. So what's 9 times 6? 54, right? And so um, it's 54.00 because of the two decimal places. And so the interest that we earned was $54. So the main thing that most people struggle with is just figuring out what's I, what's P, R and T usually they don't have a problem with, but getting I and P mixed up is probably the most common mistake that I see. So on example two, how long would you have to invest 500? So here we've got invest 500 at 7% to earn 122.50 in interest. How long is what we're trying to find? Okay, so the how long, obviously that's the time, right? Okay, and we're investing $500, so is that the principal or the interest? That's the principal, that's what we're putting in the bank. And 7% is the rate, making it into a decimal, it would be 0 0.07. And then the 122.50 is my capital I. So for this one, we're going to still use I equals PRT. And then you plug in what you know. So 122.50 for the interest equals 
the principal, 500, times the rate, 0 0.07, times the time, which we don't know, t. All right, so I'm going to let you guys finish solving that problem on your papers. I'll come around and help you while you're working. If you're at home, pause the video now. Okay, so when you multiplied 500 times 0 0.07, you got 35. Now what's the next step? Dividing. So you just divide 35 into 122.50. How many times is 35 going to go into 122? Three times. And that's 105, right? So 12 minus 5. Okay, how many times is it going to go into 175? Five times. And it goes exactly, right? Okay, so that means my time is three and a half years. So this last one, you're going to put your money in a CD. Do you guys know what a CD is? When we're talking about banking, do you know what a CD is? It's a certificate of deposit. So what a certificate of deposit is, is when you agree to the bank, I will leave this in your bank for six months, I won't touch the money. So, or I, your certificate of deposit might be for a year term. They, they usually have a fixed term. You promise you're not going to take the money out, and that way they actually pay you a little bit better interest rate. So that's what a CD is. Okay, so you put your money in a CD, which pays 4% interest for six months. In that time, you earned $16. How much did you invest? So what I want you to do right now is go through it and mark what's I, what's P, what's R, what's T. So just mark the I, P, R, and T. <laughs> on the word problem and let's make sure you got it marked up right. All right, so you need to be looking at, you put your money, do I know how much money I put in? No. What do we call the money that we put in the bank? What's it called? The money that we invested? Is it I, P, R, or T? It's P, it's the principal. Okay, what you put in the bank is the principal. It's paying 4% interest. What's that? That's your rate, okay? All, remember the percent is always going to be your rate. And so we're going to make it a decimal, 0 0.04. For six months, what's that one? The time. Now, how much of a year is six months? Half. So you could either use the fraction one half or you can use 0.5. Okay, and in that time you earned $16. What is that $16? What does the bank pay you on your savings? Interest. Okay, so I equals PRT. So plug in what you know, solve for what you don't know. Figure out how much money was put into the CD. So go ahead and finish off the problems on your papers. All right, so when you plug in 0.04 for the interest rate and 0.5 for the time, multiply those together, you get 0.02. So 16 is equal to 0.02p, and then I just have to divide both sides by 0.02. Okay, and so when you divide 0.02 into 16, when you have a decimal, you have to move it over. So how many times does 2 go into 16? 8 times. And then we've got the two zeros to fill in. So $800 is what was invested in the certificate of deposit. Okay, thank you.